If 20% of A is equal to B, then B% percent of 20 is the same as. So we have been given 20% of A is equal to B. So I can write B is equal to 20 upon 100 times A. Right. Now we have been asked B% percent of 20 is the same as. So B% percent of 20 can be written as, let's do it in another color, B% percent of 20. So B upon 100 times 20 is equal to what? So this is equal to put this value of B here. So B is 20 upon 100 A. So 20 upon 100 A divided by 100 times 20. So this is equivalent to this 100 comes down. So 20 A times 20 upon 100 times 100. Right. So let us cancel one of the hundreds. So this is equivalent to 2 times 2 is 4 upon 100 times A. And that is the same as if I have 4 upon 100 times A, I can say that it is 4% of A. So we have the answer, option A. If X% percent of Y is 100 and Y% percent of Z is 200, then find a relation between X and Z. So x percent of y is 100. So I can write x upon 100 y is equals to 100. Let's keep it as it is. Let's see what else has been given. And y percent of z is 200. So y upon 100 of z times z is equals to 200. You have to find a relation between x and z. So let us solve the equation on the left hand side. We have y is equal to 100 times 100 divided by x. Now let us analyze the equation that's on the right. So y, we can have y on the left hand side. So y is equal to 200 times 100 upon z. Now we have two, these two equations and both of these equations have the left hand side of the equal to common and that is why. So I can write, I can equate the right hand sides directly. So 100 times 100 upon x is equals to 200 times 100 upon z. Right. So one of these hundreds get cancelled out, these zeros and these zeros get cancelled out. So we can write z is equal to 2 times x and that is the relation between x and z. So option B is the right answer. If p percent of p is 36 then p is equal to. Well this one is very simple. You have been given p percent of p. So we can write p upon 100 times p is equal to 36. So it is equal to 36. So I can write p square is equal to 36 times 100 that is 3600. Therefore p is equal to taking under root on both the sides I get p equals to under root of 3600 and under root of 3600 um, let us simplify it just for the sake of fun. So under root 36 times 100 and that is equal to root 36 times root 100. We can split the roots. Remember the laws of indices or surge, right? So root 36 is 6 times root 100 is 10. So the answer is 60. P's value is 60. And that's our option. If x percent of y is equal to z, what percent of z is x? So we have been asked what percent of z is x. Let us assume that this percent be p. So what percent of z is x? p percent of z is x. So we have p percent of z is equals to x. Right. So I can write p upon 100 times z is equals to x. Isn't it? So p is equals to x upon z times 100. And that's what we have to find out. 
we have to find out the value of p and we can get that with what is given to us x percent of y is equal to z so x percent of y which is x by 100 times y is equals to z right so let us calculate x by z we can calculate this from this equation we we can move x to the right hand side of equal to we get y upon 100 is equals to z upon x isn't it now we can invert this we can say 100 upon y is equal to x upon z we have this value of x upon z we can put it in this equation to get the value of p so p is equals to x upon z is 100 upon y so 100 upon y times 100 therefore we can say that p is equal to 100 square upon y and we have found out our answer option d if x is 80 percent of y then what this should be then what percent of 2x is y so we have what percent of 2x be y so we can write this let us assume that this percent is p percent so p percent of 2x is y so we have p upon 100 times 2x is equal to y so p upon 100 is equal to y upon 2x and therefore p is equal to y upon 2x times 100 let's keep it as it is we will find out y upon 2x from what is given to us so what is given to us x is 80 percent of y so x is equal to 80 percent of y so 80 upon 100 y so this zeros and these zeros gets cancelled out 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10 so x is equals to 4y by 5 we can put the value of x here so which is we can get from which we can get the value of p so p is equals to y upon 2x is we have 2 times 4y by 5 so 2 times 4y by 5 this y and this y gets cancelled out and of course we have this 100 here so this is equivalent to we have y gets cancelled out this 5 comes up so 5 by 4 times 2 is 8 times 100 and that is equals to I can reduce this 4 2s are 8 and 4 25 is 100 so I have 1 5 times 25 is 125 by 2 and that will be equals to something like 62.5 right and that will be exactly equal to 62.5 and 62.5 is basically 62 and half so option b is the right answer